Hey YouTube, it's time to take the new shrimp rack from this to this. Alright YouTube, it's Brian again. Just coming back at you today with a video on the new shrimp rack. Um, if you saw the prior video of me setting up this shrimp rack, um, you'll know that I set up a shrimp rack. Um, it had four existing tanks that I put onto it and then uh, four new ones and I've recently um, set up and started cycling the new tanks. So what I wanted to do is just show you guys how I do it. Um, I'm not gonna take you through the entire process as far as um, like the finished product, but I just wanted to show you how I set up um, the substrate and that type of thing. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the substrate I'm using. I'm actually using two different types here. Um, in two of the new tanks, I'm going to be using this uh, Carib Sea Crystal River sand. It's a white colored sand. Um, in the bag, it does look a little more tan um, than white, but I've used it before and it does look nice and white in the, t in the aquarium. And then um, over here in two of the tanks, I'm using the Black Diamond Blasting Sand. Um, this is the I can't remember the size, but the, the little bit larger grit, not the real fine stuff that you can get. So, um, why am I using these? Well, these tanks are going to be for either Neos or Tigers, which both kind of enjoy the same water parameters. And so you need an inert substrate versus, uh, you know, a charged substrate like ADA or, or um, um, Contrasoil, that type of thing. Um, so that's why I'm using these. Now, the Instant Aquarium um, actually is a little more than I should have or would have wanted to spend, but in my area in Minnesota, you can't really find pool filter sand in the winter, and if you do, for whatever reason around here, we seem to only have the tan stuff and not the white. And in these two tanks, I just wanted uh, more of a white uh, sand because the plan is more than likely I'll have um, blue colored shrimp on these and I just think that'll make the shrimp pop a little bit more. Now the reason I use the blasting sand uh, is because uh, the tanks that these go, the, 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 or the shrimp that are going to go in here will look better on black and it's black in color. So again, uh, for neos and tigers you want to use a substrate that is inert versus um, like an aqua soil or a contra soil that's going to buffer the pH and that type of thing. So the next thing I'm going to show you are three additives that I'm going to use underneath the substrate. I use these or all similar products as these in all of my shrimp tanks. Now the first one here is something that I'll be using for the first time. It's the BBP Bacter by Aqua Eden. And uh, this is going to be the first time I've used this. In the past I've always used the Bacter 100 by ADA. Um, but this I'm going to give a try here for the first time. Um, you can get this stuff at discobee.com, a uh, great shrimp website, uh, company, however you want to say it, uh, run by Eric Martins. Uh, Eric Martins is a great guy. He's got tons of knowledge in shrimp and he's helped me out a lot. So uh, check this stuff out if you haven't tried it before. Um, from what I hear, it's great and I'm looking forward to trying it out in these tanks. The next item is going to be the, be the Beta G. It's just a powder. And by the way, um, the Bacter sprinkle along the bottom of the tank before you put the substrate in to kind of cover the entire bottom. This you sprinkle a little bit less, uh, but uh, throughout the entire bottom of the tank, spread out a little bit more. At least that's how I do it. And then the final item, um, I'm gonna butcher this as far as pronouncing it, but uh, the final item then is this uh, Myrani Kooten powder. Um, you can see the label, it's in an Asian language, I'm not sure which one, um, but uh, this, this item um, I also use, I sprinkle along the bottom um, underneath the substrate and uh, helps out greatly. Alright, so what I'm going to do first is go ahead and start sprinkling in the Bacter powder and uh, I'll just kind of let you watch me do that. one whole bottle as you can see uh, for both these two tanks and then we'll go ahead and sprinkle in the beta G all right and then finally we're 
we're gonna sprinkle in the micro gluten powder. All right, so we got that done. So now we'll go ahead and start putting in the substrate. So that's basically what you need to do with the substrate. I've got four seated filters that have been running over in these tanks right here for about a month now. So that's gonna jump start our cycle. I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up with water and then we'll dump those filters in there and I'll um, show you what that looks like once it's set up. All right, so I've got everything set up here now. Uh, one tank, this tank is not all the way filled because I ran out of RO water. But uh, as you can see, I've got the two with the white sand on top. I've got seated uh, dual sponge filters in each tank. That's one, and that's the other one with the blasting sand. Uh, I've got the uh, lids and the new lights that I got, well, new to me. Um, I got some really nice used lights uh, from my buddy Daryl, the T Aquarium on YouTube, check him out. Um, they're Arkea lights, the ones that you get through ADA. Um, Aqua Design, the mono. Super nice lights, uh, really happy with them. Um, he was done using them, so I bought them from him and worked out real well. Anyway, we're gonna let these tanks cycle and hopefully with the seeded sponge filters, uh, the cycle won't take too long and before you know it, we'll be able to add shrimp. All right, so this is about a week later and I've uh, got these tanks a little bit more set up and decorated and actually they're they're completely cycled. Um, using the uh, seeded sponge filters basically gave them all an instant cycle. So basically at this point, um, I'm just kind of adjusting the TDS, KH, and GH in all the tanks, and then I'll be able to add shrimp. Um, so keep that in mind when you're setting up a new tank. If you have the ability to do it, um, you know, seed a filter. Um, it, it can save you a lot of time. I'll just show you this one. Uh, this one of the parameters I was able to get um, squared away right away. So I transferred my um, red tigers into this tank. You can see them in there, they're doing great. Put in some red moss and a couple of shelters, some choya wood. I use that in all my tanks. And then um, you can see it there, it's floating. I use uh, Indian almond leaves. Let's see up in this tank and in this tank that one sunk choya wood still floating and then uh, alder cones uh, I've added to all these tanks as well so it's another new one so I'll be adding shrimp in three of these tanks um, like I say I moved my um, red tigers from this tank because I got some green jades last week I'll show you those in another video so uh, they were both in here for about a week together. But now that I've separated the reds, the reds look so much better on black substrate. That's one of the main reasons I got the black is for these red tiger. Anyway, um, that's about it. Um, you know, if you like what you see in this video, make sure that you subscribe, um, comment, do all that kind of good stuff. Um, I appreciate all my subscribers. Um, and also make sure that you check out um, Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook and check out Aquatic Support Community on Facebook. Check out Fish Keepers Classifieds on Facebook. And then make sure that you uh, check out all the YouTube uh, channels for the members of Team Aquatic Support. As always, there will be linked below and make sure you subscribe to all their channels too. Uh, Mike, Conway, John, and Sean. Alright guys, thanks for watching.